Okay. Welcome back to the Fan Wilcon Finance Inquisition at WesterCon 68. We are now in the 2019 bidders. I believe this is a representative from Dublin. Please go ahead. Hello. My name is Linda Wenzelberger, and I'm here representing Dublin, Ireland today. Um, unfortunately, no one from the actual bid could be here this time. Um, so I do apologize if I won't be able to answer all your questions. I have a quick slideshow for you, though. Um, so we are here to bid for the 77th Worldcon in Dublin, Ireland, which would be the first time Worldcon has ever been in Ireland. Our bid committee is made up of some very uh, talented people. Uh, some of you may know James Bacon. He is our bid chair. And he says hello. Um, Tammy Coxon is our North American agent. She was uh, also the chair of DEPCON 1. So we have a lot of depth there in our uh, field and our bid team. Uh, international uh, people everywhere. It's great. Um, here we have, oh, sorry. Uh, we launched in, Lon in LONCON 3, and this is our success so far. Uh, we have tons and tons of people who have already signed up to pre-support us uh, in our bid. And our lovely venue is going to be the Convention Center Dublin, which is a purpose-built facility. Uh, we will have use of the entire facility, and it is 100% accessible. It is a beautiful facility. and. Uh, if you can see it, the blue arrow over there is the CCD, which is right on the river, and the city center is, uh, I can't remember how far it is. I walked, um, but I'm crazy about walking. So it is one mile from the city center, and which is the equivalent of four tram stops. Um, but again, um, I found Dublin really easy to get around, um, and I would personally walk there. Um, but. Not everybody is crazy like me. Travel to Dublin. There are 275 airports that serve direct flights to Dublin. Um, if you are able to get to Heathrow or Amsterdam, uh, those are also major hubs that fly directly into Dublin as well. And if you would like to take the train from London up, you can take a ferry over. And I am told you can also take a ferry from France. So that sounds like a lovely trip. Ireland has a long history of uh, storytelling. Um, one of the things that isn't on this slide here, um, if you follow us on Facebook, uh, we have a Fiction Friday, and there are uh, posts that go up uh, with links to read uh, Irish fiction and to introduce you to some Irish writers that you may not know about. And there's some of them right there. And I think Garth Ennis needs to be bigger, and anyone who is a Judge Dredd fan, uh, they've just written a story set in Ireland in the... Judge Dread world, which is awesome. So um, again, uh, this would have be the first time that Worldcon has ever been in Ireland, and we would be honored to have your support. Thank you. A minute and a half for questions. Does anyone have questions for Dublin? So the question is, uh, what are we doing to reach out to communities uh, of color uh, to bring them into the conventions? Um, again, I do have to apologize. I am not on the actual bid committee. Um, but I know there is a lot of um, work being done to bring in younger fans. And I'm, I will ask them to address that question and put something up on their blog and on their Facebook page. Um, I did actually send a message. When I heard what all the questions were, I uh, frantically started sending messages to everyone on the team saying, help. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so unfortunately, <laughs> I wasn't able to get any answers. But I have uh, just forwarded all your questions to the, the committee. And I've asked them to respond on the Facebook page so that people will know what's going on. Um, as far as the code of conduct, if I can just guess that that might be another question. Um, Again, they have not actually posted it on their website yet, but I would be 
I would be very angry with them if they didn't have one. <laughs> Rick. Good question. That one I have an answer to. How many hotel rooms are within walking distance of the convention center? Um, 1,268 rooms are within half a mile. Time. Time. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying.